Hey there, welcome back to this course. Now in this video, I am going to give you an introduction to Canvas and you know how you can access the Canvas using JavaScript and you know even define the Canvas in HTML as well. So what is Canvas? You know, first when you hear the term Canvas, then the first thing that comes into your mind is it's some type of you know some sort of a placeholder, right, where you can draw something. So in HTML, that same intuition also carries, you know, so in HTML canvas is an element which has a height and a width and inside of that element you can draw anything, whether you can draw a rectangle, you can draw a square or many other stuff. So if I open paint over here, just say that, you know, this area over here is your complete document and it contains nothing. Now a canvas would be something like this, you know, a box with a border. Now inside of this box, you can make other boxes, you can make squares, you can draw a line or you can even add text. So whatever we are going to do, we are going to do in the canvas. We are not going to do it outside of the canvas, right? And even our games would be inside of this canvas. So this is what a canvas is. And now let's see how we can define a canvas in HTML and access it in JavaScript. So here I'm using Atom ID. You can use anything else, whether it's a sublime test or notepad plus plus or even your standard notepad. So this is a simple folder called section one. So I'll just right click on it and create a new file. So let me define this HTML right now. Now inside of this body element, we are going to have our canvas and this is how you can define the canvas. So we got our canvas, right? So let's just open this file and see how it is in the browser. So this is the canvas intro file. I'll just open it. So this is the canvas, right? As I was drawing in paint, you know, so this is like the whole document and it has nothing in it. And this is the canvas. And inside of this canvas, we are going to have our game. So let's see how we can modify some elements in the canvas and even add elements to this canvas using javascript so back to our program now we need a javascript over here right and to write a javascript we are going to use the script tag arrows as always okay now we need to access our canvas now to access any element in the html document from javascript you need the id of that element right so here the canvas has a specific id which is ctx and using this id we are going to get a reference to that canvas Okay, so we got our canvas. Now you would be wondering that, okay, up to now here, we got the reference to that canvas, but what is this all about? Why is there a context which is 2D? Now this is there because whatever we are going to be drawing is two dimensional, right? Because we will be building casual games. We are not going in depth of 3D and all that. So this is why we need to get a context and specifically a 2D context. So the CTX stores the reference of the canvas in a 2D context. Now let's fire up a method called fill text and see what happens. Now you might be wondering what's going on. So this fill text method is used to 
draw some kind of a text on the canvas so here the text is hello world so i want to draw the text hello world in the canvas at location 150 x axis and 250 y axis so let me just run it and show you what really happens so i'll just refresh this page and you see hello world over here now it's pretty small but let it just be so it is 150 from the left side of the canvas and 250 from the top so this is 150 and from the top it's 250 and this is our text hello world now it's very small right so how can we make it large now to make this text larger we need to change the font attribute of the canvas so to do that we will just write ctx.font is equal now there are different types of fonts and the format by which you can change the fonts is something like this so first you specify the size of the font and after that you specify the font family now calibri is the font family that i'm using so i'm using a font that is 30 px in size and is calibri and now if i run this you will see it's pretty large so now we can see the hello world property right so this is all about the introduction to canvas and in the next lecture we'll be adding some more elements to the canvas like maybe rectangles or circles and all that so up to now this is it and i will see you in the next one